Sun get together and we have set up a registered country and then standard is work in wild living. After he spent everything, there was a severe famine in that whole country. So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him to feed pigs. He longed to fill his stomach with the pork that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's higher servants have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your higher servants. So he got up and went to his father. And while he was still long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. The son said to his father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servant, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fatted calf and kill it. And kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was She's tired. And She's tired. Day. He was lost <laughs> and is found. So they began to celebrate. What a beautiful story. Amen. Hallelujah. Bible says when a man is in Christ, he's a new creature. Hallelujah. When someone has not got Christ in him, he is dead indeed. Accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is awakening. Without Christ, we sleep. But when we embrace Christ, we are awake. And that is why, where we begin to live. So, more than every other thing, at this time, we want everybody to come to Jesus Christ. We want everybody to embrace Him as their Lord and Savior. And that, like the story that we just read, like the prodigal son, it is time for us to come back home. Amen. It is time for us to confess our sins and forsake them. It is time to believe that we are sinners and we need a Christ that is able to save us and deliver us from all our mistakes, our past. And that is why we have come to preach Christ, so that beyond Christmas we can look unto Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. The Bible says, for my people perish for lack of knowledge. Without Christ, we don't have knowledge. Without Christ, we are empty. Without Christ, we are in darkness. But when we have Christ, we have the light that we can walk in the light. We can begin to see things differently. We can be away to the reality of life. When Bible says, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world? It means it doesn't matter how much we have achieved here on earth. Without Christ in it, everything is empty. Without Christ, we are naked. That is it. That is just the reality. We have Christ, we have the cover. Life. We have wisdom. We have salvation. We have everything that can make our life beautiful. And this is an open invitation back to Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. And that is 
the way the Bible put it. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Without Christ, we live in lies. Without Christ, we know nothing. Without Christ, we live a false life, a life that is not defined. Because the Bible says, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. So we have a creator who is able to give our life a meaning. And without that creator, we deceive ourselves. Because our wisdom is not going to take us far. But when we have the spirit of God, we have direction. We know where we are going. Amen. We know what we are doing. Amen. So when you think about Christmas, think about Jesus Christ. Don't just think 